At that time, I was looking at newspapers. I mean, I thought I'd be at the New York Times or the Herald Tribune. But at that time, papers were combining, just as they are now. And my uncle, who lived in California, basically said, go west, young woman, and that there would be work here. And there was. Um, the AP, I was familiar with the AP because I had been a stringer for the AP from the Asbury Park Press. So I came there, and uh, my view at that time was I would stop in for a while, and I would learn what a wire service was all about, and then I would move on. Well, that's not quite how it worked out. Uh, I wound up there for 48 years. Journalism itself hasn't changed at its core in 50 years. Uh, it's still telling a story. It's still uh, the who, what, when, where, why. But the process has changed a lot. Uh, when I started, I was using a typewriter, and I was using glue pots, and I was tearing copy. Um, once computers came in, everything changed. And once the 24-hour news cycle came in on television, things changed even more. Because now there was a huge hole of airtime to fill. And trials were a great source of news. Um, in the past, they had been news, but there had not been quite the, um, the desire to cover them full time. The women's role in journalism changed dramatically. Uh, before I entered it, when some of my good friends like Theo and Fran Lewin of the AP and Helen Thomas entered it, there was a lot of discrimination. Uh, in Washington, women could not cover press conferences at the National Press Club. They had to sit up in a balcony where they couldn't ask questions. Um, women had to fight to be covering news. Uh, everybody expected that we would be covering the social pages. And actually, I did a little of that at the very beginning. I wrote some wedding notices. And, uh, and certainly there's a place for that in papers, but it's not what I wanted to do. And um, I had to prove myself probably more than the guys did. Well, I have to tell you that when I came to the AP in Los Angeles, I was the only woman in the bureau of some 40 people. It was all men, and most of them smoked cigars. I still remember that. Uh, but they were very accepting of me, and, uh, and I was able to forge my own way. Um, over the years, there have been lawsuits which really advocated for women to be paid, the, paid equally and to be hired equally with men. I think the lawsuits and the, um, the decisions in them, the consent decrees from the government, made it obvious that this could not be a closed door. I think if you want to be a journalist today, you have to have a passion for it a passion that cannot be quenched by any other occupation because it is so difficult now, much more difficult than when I began. The news hole, as they call it, in newspapers is smaller. Uh, a company like the Associated Press is being very restrained about the number of people they're hiring because of budgetary concerns. And I think that you have to prove that you are so good that the news business can't live without you. I did not think about whether it was a man's or woman's profession because there were women already doing it. And my father had said to me, you know, you can do anything you want in this life. Just pick what you want to do.